Taking flight and soaring high has been a dream for many Māori children. And this dream is fast becoming a reality for more young Māori with the help of Massey University's School of Aviation. Yes, we caught up with two young men who want to be captains of their own destiny. Yeah, we'll be counting stars. Ko te ako ki a rere, ka tīmata ki konei. Pounds and tail, Messi 807 inbound, our name 07, circling 253 on board Charlie 1013. Mo te wā roa tēnei rangatahi nō te arawa, e hia hia ana ki a kāpene i tōnā ke waka. And me being a tutu, I wanted to be able to operate and manipulate the controls and understand what they all meant. Ko waia a te rewiti Graham ki te hau tū, waka whai hanga. Is that grief complete? It is complete. When I was five, every weekend, my koro and my nan, they used to take me out to the airport in Rotorua. That was bliss. Nā whai anō he tauira i ao te kūninga ki pūre huroa ki te papa i oia. Ko te ātāro wai me te āta tirotiro te mahi. Hey, before starting checklist, pre-flight inspection. Information ego issued at 2, 1, 2. Rā, kua rite ki te rere. I'm also very, very happy to get up. You know, any time there's a chance to get into the air, you know, I love it. It's just, it's like a peace of mind up there, you know. It's a completely different world. We left when it was sunny. 20 minutes later, it was raining. <laughs> we couldn't see much, so yeah, the, the weather is so changeable here, and that's just like other places in the world, you get to try all of it. E ai ki te kōrero a te kura, ki te mōhio koe ki te rere i te papa i oia, kei a koe te ao. He can land a plane, he can make all those critical decisions that he needs to make, and he can do it all by himself. Hoki mai ana ki te papa, Kā tū taki atu te tokorua nei ki ētehi atu Māori i te ao rerenga. I rāranga mātou ki a kotahi ai, a hakoa te etsi, a kei ko nā mātou ki a mātou e āwhina e whakahiki ana te wairua. Ko Davidson Taylor e whai hoki ana i te tohu paitahi pairata waka rerenangi. He whainga tēnei mōku mai rāno ka hoki ngā mahara ki te wā I urua tuau i roto i ngā taua ārangi mō ngā taiohi. I haere au ki runga i tōku rere ngā tuatahi ki reira. I te rāwa ka whakāroau ke te pirangi ana hau ki te mauria i tōku whānau ki roto i te rangi. E hara te kaupapa nei i te ngāwari, engari e hara hoki i te uaua. Mā te tangata e kai ngākau ana ki te mahi i ene o ngā mahinga, te rakua ea. Ko Dr. Severn Rewetsi, kai te para i te huarahi mō ngai Māori i te ao hangarau rerenga. He whakaa ko i ngā tātai whika tana mahi. When I retired from the Air Force, I came and joined the Massey School of Aviation and continued with some of the stuff I was doing in the Air Force, namely aeroscience, teaching aeroscience and further developing flight simulation devices. We'll just do an ILS approach into, into Auckland and I'll record the track and then so I can play it back to you. So this device here uh, is a motion simulator. It's one of the first ones developed that, in New Zealand that has a glass cockpit. He pēnei tēnei mihini ki tētehi kemu tākoro kei runga pawaka whakāta. He oi ko te rereke tanga ka taia e ngā tauira, te whiwhi ngā haora rerenga, ko whakaaitia e te manatū waka rererangi o Aotearoa. Rangi mai, papa mai, hea ha te pai tawhiti mō ngā tauira Māori. At this stage I see a pathway into flight instructing for a little while. From there I then want to move into Air New Zealand. Ko oku nei whainga, kia urua tuau ki roto i tētahi kamupene e mahi ana ngā mahi mō ngā tangata tūroro. Haere ana ki ngā hohi pera no te rāwahi, no te rāwahi. And you see, that's where Māori have got to be, on that leading edge, on that technological edge. 
because that's the way of the future. I think we've done well in the primary industries, but now it's time to move into the high-tech industries, and that's where I see the future for young Māori, especially in aviation. E topa topa na ngā tauira Māori nei ki te rangi e whakatina nāna i ngā moi moia. Ka tisu atu mātou ki a te rewiti hei kai arahi mō mātou mō māua ku krei, anō te mea kua ea ia ki ngā taumata ara ko ia hei kai arahi hei āwhina i ngā māua. The first time I flew myself in Tūrotura, I was happy to fly into home, but more so happy for my nan, who was there to pick me up, to see me flying in as opposed to us being together watching other planes fly in, you know, it was my turn. And so she's very, very happy and very proud of me for doing that. And then after a few times she got sick of it and she just told me to text her when we get to the airport. So that phase sort of you know, went out.